हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हरीश पांचाल एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस एंड वी विल कम टू नो दैट इन हाउ मेनी सिचुएशंस दिस टेंस इज यूज्ड एंड हाउ मेनी हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स आर यूज्ड इन दिस टेंस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट आर वीडियो ओके स्टूडेंट सो द फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस इज यूज इन टू सिचुएशन फर्स्ट सिचुएशन इज कंप्लीटेड actions in future second situation is completed actions before something in the future so the future perfect tense is used in these two situations and there are two forms of future perfect tense there are two forms number 1 will have plus past participle and second is b plus going to have plus past participle so these are the two forms tense yes. and these are the two situations where we use the future perfect tense so one by one we will uh, discuss all the situations and these forms now okay students so first of all we will discuss about completed actions in the future and we will use form number 1 so we will use form number 1 will have plus past participle and uh, for example i will have written a letter this is the first situation first form i will have written a letter means in future i will have done something okay and now i am talking about that particular action that will take place in the future so i will have written a letter here i have used will have and third form past participle another example she will have won the match she will have won the match so will have and then again i have used here third form of the main verb please uh, excuse me for the noise which is going on uh, in okay so uh, she will have won the match means uh, something will be done in the future in future she will be able to win the match and uh, another example we can make that uh, she will he will have sorry he will have gone there so he will have gone there in futures uh, so here again we are using will and then it is third form so will have and third form this is the first situation uh, completed actions in the future and this is the first form which we are using here will have plus past participle if i have to make the same sentence using second form so how will i make the same sentences using second forms okay students now you have learned completed actions in the future with the form number 1 now see what is the difference between form a and uh, form b i made a sentence i will have written a letter so this is first situation and this is form number 1 now how will i make the sentence with the form 2 i am going to have written a letter so 
see the changes between these two sentences only formation has changed but the meaning is same of the sentence we use be going to have and then past participle so this is your second form and there is no difference between the meaning of both the sentences here i have used will have and then third form and here i am using b is known as is am r and i have to use going to have and after that i have used third form so this is the formation of these two sentences this is form number 1 and this is form number 2 but there is no change in the meaning only formation has changed another example she will have won the match she will have won the match so i have used here will have and the third form this is our first form now second form is she is going to have won the match so this should be the formation of uh, second uh, part here i am using be going to have and then third form of the main verb and there is no difference in the meaning of the sentences both the sentences are correct another sentence i can make for you is you will have eaten lunch you will have eaten lunch so how will you make the sentence with the second formation while using second form you will make sentences you are going to have eaten lunch eaten the lunch so here see is am i going to and then have and then i have used here third form of the main verb so these are the two forms of uh, future perfect tense and uh, we can make sentences in this way also and we can make sentences in this way also both the sentences are right there is no mistake in all the in, in, in uh, these sentences so uh, i will have written a letter or i am going to have written a letter you can use whatever you want to use but most of the times so people do not use this structure orally or in written format so uh, mostly people use this structure so it up to you whether you use this or this so this is our first situation of the future perfect tense and we can use both of the forms in this now we will do the second situation of a future perfect tense okay students so now we will do uh, completed actions before something in the future and we will find out that what is the uh, difference between situation a and mm -hmm. situation b so uh, let's see and take the example i will have learned english so this sentence is of uh, situation 1 now in second situation in second situation we will use time okay for example by next november i will have learned english this is your situation 2 got it so now see the difference here here in the first sentence there is no time there is no time i will have learned english means uh, uh, here i am uh, uh, assuming that in future i will have learned english but here see uh, there is a particular specific time time is mentioned here that uh, by this moment of time in future i will have done something there is a particular time here so this is the difference between situation 1 and situation 2 although the whole sentence is 
same we are using the same structure will have and third form of the main verb so only difference is of time another example we can say like uh, he will have got a job by the time he finishes his course okay see here he will have got a job okay means he will get a job by the time he completes his course so again here what i have used will have and uh, third form and by the time he finishes his course this sentence this part of the the sentence will be written simple present so whenever you are going to make sentence with the future and you are using another tense with it so simple present tense will be used always see he finishes this is the form of simple present tense so this is the combination of uh, simple present and future perfect tense i hope you understood this now uh, this is the first form this is form a now we can make the same sentences with the form b also form b so this sentence by next november by next november uh, i by next november i am going to have learned english okay so see the time will be same okay but the formation of uh, the sentence will be changed so here i am using is am are then i am using going to and then have and then i am using here third form of the main verb so this is form number 2 of uh, future perfect so this sentence we can change this sentence also in the same way like for example he is going to have got a job and then the same sentence we will continue by the time he finishes his course so uh, here again i am using is am are then uh, going to form and after that i am using have and then i am using got third form of the main verb so this is second form and uh, see the difference between first sentence and second sentence in first form we are using will have plus third form and in second form in second form we are using is am are going to have and third form so this is the use of the future perfect tense now there are two situations in future perfect tense first situation is completed action in the future this is very normal situation we do not use time here and the second situation is completed actions before something in the future so here we have to use uh, the combination of uh, simple present tense with the future perfect tense so i hope so uh, you understood this thing now take a look at the syntaxes of both the forms okay students so uh, see the syntaxes of form 1 uh, and uh, first of all when you have to make sentences with the form 1 of uh, the future perfect tense you will have to use a subject and then will have and then you have to use third form and then object when you make negative sentences so will not have and then you have to use third form and then you have to use object when you make questions so will will come in the beginning of the sentence after that you have to use subject then uh, have third form and then object will subject then not and after that you have to use have and third form of the main verb and then object so let's make few examples of uh, form number 1 uh, for example i will have made t for you so i'll have made t for you this is the positive sentence of uh, future perfect 
uh, tense and uh, how will you make the negative sentence you can make the negative sentence like i will not have made t for you so this is the second uh, situation of this and uh, how will you make the questions question is will i have made t for you uh, students please excuse me for the outside noise because uh, work is going on in the street and uh, i do not have more time but uh, i have this time only so i am making my video so okay. the noise now another sentence in the last sentence will i not have made t for you okay so like this you can make all the sentences take uh, another example we will have earned money so we will have earned money this is the positive sentence how will you make the negative sentence for making making negative sentence you will have to use will not have to make negative sentence you have to will not have or you can say in short form won't have this is the uh, short form of negative sentence will not have earned money now when you make questions will we have earned money and uh, question mark at the end will we not have earned money so uh, this is your uh, form 1 and you can make the sentences like this we will have to use uh, will have and then we have to use third form of the main verb so now let's take a look at uh, second syntax okay students so this is form 2 of uh, future perfect tense so how will you make the sentences first of all you will use uh, subject and then you have to use is am are for b okay and then you need to use going to then you have to use have and then third form and then object so this is the syntax of uh, second uh, part when you make negative sentence subject is am are plus not and then you have to use going to plus have plus third form and then you have to use object while making questions make sure that is am are will come in the beginning of the sentence after that you have to use subject going to and then you have to use have third form and object so at the end you have to put a question mark while making negative questions is am are will come in the beginning of the sentence then you have to use uh, subject and then you have to put not here before going to then have and then you have to use third form and then you have to use object so these are the syntaxes of part b so now let's make few examples while using future perfect tense with the second form so uh, first sentence is i am going to have made t for you so see the formation okay am going to have made and then you have to put object so while making a negative sentence you have to follow this syntax i am not going to have made t for you okay now uh, when you make question so is am are will come in the beginning of the sentence follow this syntax is am are after that you have to use subject am i going to 
हैव मेड टी फॉर यू एम आई गोइंग टू हैव मेड टी फॉर यू सो यू कैन स्पीक लाइक दैट एम आई नॉट गोइंग to have made tea for you so you can make uh, sentences like this in uh, second format okay so okay so let's make another sentence with this uh, by next month you are going to have bought a new car so this is the sentence by next month you are going to have uh, bought a new car so how will you make the negative sentence this uh, thing will be same by next month you are not going to have bought a new car so this is negative sentence while making negatives you have to put not after r and uh, questions sorry this thing will be same by next month are you going to have bought a new car by next month are you not going to have bought a new car so uh, these are the syntaxes and uh, here see the formation is am r going to have and uh, third form of the main verb okay students so uh, you know we have learned that you know uh, future perfect tense is used in two situations first situation is completed actions in the future and second situation is completed actions before something in the future we use two forms the first uh, the first form is will have plus past participle and uh, second form is be plus going to have uh, plus past participle so i hope so you understood uh, properly this tense and uh, still if you have any kind of doubt then you can comment me in the comment section so i will reply to all your comments so thank you so much for uh, your time and have a nice day to all of you bye bye take care